Higgins hates everybody take 25, something like that. 25, 26, 26. Higgins hates everybody episode 26. I got my dogs and my fuzzy slippers on and let's play this game today. <clears throat> so continuing on our discussion from yesterday on fundamentals, uh, grip position, side alignment, breath control, trigger squeeze, follow through, all that nonsense that's only designed to serve one purpose to hold the firearm in a space so that you can hold, you can get your shot off and be accurate downrange. All of those fundamentals are important. All of those fundamentals are difficult to align at the exact same time, which is why we drill them and drill them and drill them. Today we're just talking about sight alignment. Sight alignment comes down to basically on a handgun, on most defensive handguns, you have a front blade sight and some kind of B notch in the rear kind of blade in the front, B notch in the rear, you're just trying to line those up somehow, keep them level, keep the front sight equal space. But what exactly is sight picture? Your eye can only focus on one thing at a time. Your normal focal point for most human beings, about 12 to 14, or I'm sorry, 14 to 16 inches, somewhere in there, you can only focus on one thing at a time. Common, common thoughts are you want, to, you've got three things to focus on. I'm sorry, you have three things from which you should be uh, focusing on. The target, the front sight, the rear sight. Which one of those in common parlance do we focus on? Usually we say you want to focus on the front sight. Keep the front sight nice and crisp. The rear sight will be a little fuzzy. The target, which is bigger than everything else, should be a little fuzzy, but still easily orientated. But there's really a lot of other things going on. You've got the background. You've got things behind the target that have to be a concern. You've got things in your surroundings that have to be a concern. Could be people that, are, that may or may not be getting ready to cross between you, the firearm, and the, tar the intended target. It might be something moving behind the target and the target is svelte. It's, it's Pookie the crackhead and he's this big and you're 115 grain. It's going to punch right through him. There's a lot of things you have to be considering. If you don't consider these things and you do go blasting, you know, several holes through Pookie the crackhead and you hit Mrs. Gonzalez's garden in the background, no harm, no foul. But if you hit her six month old grandchild, you didn't solve any fucking problems. You created entirely new ones. You didn't help that situation. You just expanded the fucking crime scene. So when we talk about sight alignment, we really need to discuss weapon alignment. In a self-defense situation, I'm probably not going to waste a whole lot of time at self-defense distances, which are generally between three and five feet, getting my perfect sight picture, getting that perfect measurement of space between the front sight and either edge of the rear notch, I might just be shooting from here as I smash the glass behind me with my elbow and freak out all my dogs. I might be getting a shot from a retention or from a clinch position. I'm not aligning fuck all at that point as far as the sights go. I'm aligning, aligning the firearm to the threat. So there's a lot of things to consider when you're discussing sight alignment. What it breaks really down to is weapon alignment. Weapon alignment makes things simpler. Aligning the weapon to the threat from here, 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 whatever. Some people, when they're snapping a shot, they'll start breaking shots here over the sights. Chin up. Bang, 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 bang. And then they drive the gun and the shots closer and closer into a sight picture on between their eyes and the target itself. How accurate can you be on a pistol? Pretty fucking accurate, depending on time and distance. Distance from the threat gives you time to get things proper. That doesn't make a lot of sense till you're in it. If you're within three to five feet or less, the time it takes you to align the shot is probably shrinking quite a bit. Because if you've got physical contact with your threat, it's much easier to align and get a shot. Doesn't, you don't have to waste a great deal of time doing that. 
if there's 15, 20, 50 yards between you and a threat, you might have different objects between you and the threat you have to, you have to consider. So now, not only do you have more time because of that distance to take your shot and be more deliberate with your alignments, you have the opportunity to do so. Many people say that sight radius will increase your accuracy, and it won't. It just really kind of fine tunes where you're aiming and how you're aligning things. But sight radius really means fuck all. The argument tends to be mouse guns are less accurate because they have a shorter sight radius. Again, doesn't mean fuck all. What's the sight radius on a red dot? Zero. There, there is no sight radius on a red dot. So these are the things that have that come into common parlance when you're dealing with this. Again, everybody's going to have their opinion on this stuff. Every instructor is going to believe that their way is the 100% only way, my way or the highway, my techniques are the best. And those, well, to be honest, those instructors tend to be the ones trying to sell you some bullshit, like some technique they named themselves. <clears throat> so that's bullshit. Because in all honesty, there is no one way to skin a cat. There's no one way to do anything. You know, if, unless you are the way, the truth, and the light, shut the fuck up. Because your opinion is an opinion. It's not the end-all, be-all. So go out there, practice your fundamentals, get them in there, get your reps. Right now is a great time to be dry firing. Uh, we'll go over one of my favorite dry fire drills down the line, but I hope this helps. If you've got a good technique or, or a, a, an idea to, uh, to bring to the table, post it in the comments. By all means, go into the description of this, hit some of our links, spend some money with us. Because, um, I, again, I am trying to sell some stuff, but it's t-shirts, not an opinion. So, you guys have a great night. I'm going to go pet some dogs and touch my wife's butt. Deuces. Give me that ass. <laughs>